Here's another organism that looks like something out of a horror movie. It is called a hookworm. Uh, hookworms are fairly common, uh, although luckily not so much in uh, the uh, Western world, but it is estimated that around 500 to 700 million people are infected by these hookworms. And a hookworm infection can have really nasty effects. You feel tired, you are uh, uh, have no appetite, you are anemic, and you are not in a very good state of health. So hookworms are, you know, not very nice things. And they can infect humans as well as uh, animals. Pet infections with hookworms are fairly common, actually. Now, what does a hookworm look like? They belong to the species of uh, roundworms. So they are roundworms, usually. Uh, roundworms are found uh, wherever you go, but most of them are not in any way parasitic. Or, if you like, the Latin word would be uh, nematode. Nematode. And this is pretty much uh, what these uh, hookworms look like. They're not terribly big, uh, but they can infect uh, humans. Um, however, if you look a little bit uh, closer at the front end, uh, they look absolutely terrifying, like something from a horror movie. So this is the mouth part of a hookworm that's uh, commonly found in, in dogs. And what you see is, here is the mouth, and here are these really sharp teeth with which the worm bites into usually the intestine, and it anchors itself to the uh, intestine, and it sucks the blood of the, 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 the victim. Uh, which obviously is not very nice. So how do hookworms actually, what is the life cycle of a hookworm? Now, it usually starts with eggs, uh, which are produced from uh, adult hookworms. So these eggs are uh, cleared from the body in the in the feces. So uh, when people go for a poo, uh, very often you will find the eggs in 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 this uh, in the stool in the feces. From uh, these eggs, uh, larvae hatch, and uh, they are a little bit uh, like a rod. These uh, larvae, uh, they are called uh, dytiform larvae, which means rod-like larvae, and then they develop into a sort of almost a worm-like uh, filariform larvae. And these filariform larvae, they then usually live in the soil and they just simply wait for an unsuspecting victim to come along. And they attach themselves to uh, the victim. So this could be either uh, if, you, if you walk around barefoot or if you uh, touch some 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 soil, some infected soil with your bare hands, and then these uh, filariform larvae break through the skin. They penetrate the skin. They they they, they can do that, and they uh, then go in the bloodstream. Uh, in the bloodstream, they are usually moving to the lungs. Here, so in in your lungs, uh, you start off with the hookworm infection. And uh, you, when, when you cough, you get some of these larvae. Uh, they then travel up to your mouth and you swallow them. So here the larvae go from the lung into your uh, guts. They are resistant to the stomach environment, which is, uh, which is amazing because the stomach environment is really uh, not very good for living organisms. Uh, but these uh, larvae can... Uh, are persistent and, and resistant to the stomach, and then they settle into the usually into the small intestine. Depends a little bit on the species of the hookworm. Uh, here they settle into the uh, small intestine, and um, they they anchor themselves with these horrible teeth uh, to the wall of the, of the small intestine, uh, where they then suck the blood of, of the human. And the uh, female hookworm, which is usually the bigger one, uh, will then lay lots and lots of eggs, which uh, are fertilized by the male hookworm. Uh, sometimes you find that the male uh, hook 
a worm is uh, attached to the female hookworm so that they can easily uh, fertilize the eggs. And the eggs then are uh, cleared again by the body uh, in the feces and a new life cycle of this horrible organism um, happens. Uh, it can cause a lot of damage, economic damage, you know, if you are not up to working, if you don't feel very well, uh, I mean, you don't work and uh, this uh, can cause a lot of damage and as I said, up to between 500 and 700 million people are infected. Luckily, we have uh, good treatments um, so in the Western world, it's not such a big problem, but in 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 a lot of countries, this is a massive uh, public health uh, problem, and um, it's not good if you are infected by a hookworm. So thank you very much for watching, and I hope uh, this makes sense.